Hey guys, welcome back. We're here again with The Lash Life. I'm Ana Briones, your master lash stylist with The Lash Supply. Hi, I'm Imelda Hernandez. And I'm Alice. And we're back. <laughs> yes, we we're are back. We're back, guys. <laughs> <laughs> so today we want to talk about a few things that are very important to you guys. I know that if you're a beginner, it's really hard to imagine like where to start, where to begin. Like how do I bring clients in? How do I advertise? What should I post, right? So a lot of us have been through it. Um, or like, for example, Imelda, you're just starting out. Yes. What are you doing to get started? Like, what are you doing to advertise? What are you doing to bring clients in? Well, the first thing that I did is on my personal social media, which was Facebook and Instagram, I kind of started giving like hints about me going to school. And then I posted pictures of my graduation and that's, cool. that's when people started like texting me or sending me messages like, hey, well, can you do my lashes? And that's how I started getting a little bit of my clients. And then just recently, I just did my Instagram. But Your professional one. Yeah, my professional, my, lash page. My yeah. lash page, yes. Um, and I'm getting there. It's hard because I'm not good in, for example, like um, taking pictures, like what to post, what not to post. Should I put some of my personal uh, life in my uh, business page? Um, what should I put as a caption? So all those things kind of confuse me. And I'm like, sometimes I go like, oh, what do I do? What do I yeah, put? It, it can be difficult to yeah. know what exactly to post. And honestly, guys, when I first started many years ago, um, I really just did it by referrals. Mm -hmm. I'm not as great either, like you said, with social media and posting every single day. And um, I've had to learn it i've had to learn it because it's something that just came in like a storm like shoom, like social media is a thing now and that's what makes the world turn and that's how you <laughs> that's how people yes. think about you right um if you're not posting nobody thinks about you no. so how are you bringing people in if you're not posting so i think that i've had to just r learn it or relearn some things because i could scroll through it all day long but i didn't know how to do this or do that and that's the most important part about bringing clients in. Um, but again, I did it in a time when, when social media wasn't as important. So me not posting every day or, you know, keeping up with social media is not that big of a deal right now for me because most of my client base was referral based. Um, word of mouth. Word of mouth. So one person referred me to the other um, they told them about me. Can I bring my sister? Can I bring my friend? And that's how I started. And the only reason why I started a business page was because a lot of my customers were like, um, I want to tell my friend about you, but it was requested through them. Yeah. Did and I kept, pictures? I kept <laughs> hearing that. Do you have any pictures? Well, I do, but I can send you some, right? Because I already had a client base, so I wasn't really posting a lot, <clears throat> but it was important. It was important. Um, it was a little bit of a, a challenge for me because, um, again, I could scroll through it, but I didn't know how to create a video. Or... You have a teenager. Yeah, I have so... a teenager. So, oh, my God. Shout out to Tatiana. She's okay, like, you better shout out to me, mom. She's like, you better shout out to me, mom, because I help you do all your social media social stuff. Social media queen. Yes. Yeah, so um, <clears throat> she would help me make videos and reels and I would send her pictures. She's only 13, by the way. I would send her pictures, and she's like, I edited it for you, Mom. I even added music. Like, look, like, there you go, period. And I was just <laughs> like, oh, my God. Like, thank you so much. You're a lifesaver. And so she did edit a lot of my pictures for me, and it was, it's been awesome. I have, like, someone working for me for free, so <laughs> I don't have to pay anybody. <laughs> she does all my social media stuff now. Um, <clears throat> but... Alice, what are you doing? Like, I know that, you know, you're a newer generation. You know what I mean? I'm a millennial. Yes. So, like, what are you doing? Because I know that, you know, looking at your page, you have so much going on. Mm -hmm. And, like, where do you find the time? How do you do it? You know, tell us tell us about that. Taking pictures. Well, you, your pictures look really good on yeah. Instagram. I, it took a lot. I obviously, I've always liked, no, I don't want to say technology because I'm not big with technology, but I've always liked to I guess kind of be trendy in a way. Yeah. Um, so with pictures, I followed a lot of lash techs. So most of my following on my social media it is mainly lash 
artists slash tech okay. slash masters, you know, because they know what they're they're doing right. and they'll sometimes post tips and tricks on how to mm -hmm. edit your pictures. Right. Sometimes, you know, on their stories on Instagram, yes, they'll be absolutely. like, oh, you know, today's right now what's trending is da 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 da. So you'll use you'll pick up those little hashtags or those little bullets to put as, as captions, like mm -hmm. you were saying. Um, but for example, when editing my pictures, I didn't know what to do. All I knew at the time was an app called Pixart. I think it was called Pixart. Yeah, I think I remember using that before yeah, too. That was I like used to use that too. Three or four years yeah. ago. And I would use it to fix my pictures or like invert them or whatever. Right. And then that gave us the option to do kind of like smooth out the skin. Yes. So I would use that to, yeah. to edit my pictures. Mm. And then it gives you the option to put your logo on the pictures. Right, right. So I would use that to put the logo. And now I use Facetunes to okay. edit my pictures. Yeah. Make my pictures look more professional, the skin softer, enhance the eyes, whatever. Because right. you do need to do that. Yes, you do. When you're posting. You and want the logo your, is so they won't like steal your picture. Your watermark. Like your, yeah. your watermark. watermark so your pictures. That's your work. Say like, I did I mean, these lashes, some, but they're not really. Yeah. It already lashes. happened to me. Someone yeah, there's some people do. Mm. I, and I've seen other lash tech guys. And please don't do this. Please you don't. You take other people's pictures and advertise yeah. sets like if they're yours and then people are not getting really what you're showing yeah, right no. don't take other people's work if you need pictures ask for models that's the best way yeah. to start um having pictures on your social media is for example like when i started um i wanted to show everybody that i could do a volume set now right and i didn't have anybody to do a volume set because all i had been doing was like a lot of classics so I just asked somebody like, hey, somebody want to be a model for a volume set? I'll give it mm -hmm. to you absolutely free. And there was like, me, 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 me. Yeah, it's like me. I want to do it. I want to do it. I want to do it. And so then I would look at the social media <clears throat> at all the people that asked to be models. And I would say, okay, let me look and see how many people are following them, mm -hmm. right? And then I had somebody with like five followers and somebody with like a hundred followers and somebody with like a thousand followers. And I'm like, I'm going to give it to her yeah. because if I give it to her, she's probably going to repost it. And, and always say, give yeah. me a shout out. Yes, exactly. Sometimes so, you do have to mention to give you right. a shout out. So then what I would tell them is like, hey, girl, I would reach out and be like, hey, I want to go ahead and give you that set. When can you come and do when can you come and do the set? And they'd be like, I can be there Friday at blah, blah, blah. Yes, I'll grab it. Whatever time it is, I'm going to do it because I need that picture to promote myself. And then I would say, the only thing that I'm asking you for, I'm not asking you for any money. The only thing that I'm asking you for give is to out. tag me. Yeah. yeah, Tag me, give me a shout out, say I did your lashes, you know, um, anything like that to help me and then let me post your picture. That's all that I want. And they'll be like, oh, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, yeah. And lashes. people will do it. You're getting a new uh, a free, free set. set you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. You're getting a new set of lashes. You're getting a free set. And so that's a really good way to put yourself out there so people can start thinking about you because if you're just never posting yourself then how do people even know you do lashes yep. right that's free advertisement facebook instagram you know what i mean and always use the seasons <clears throat> to advertise like mother's day valentine's yeah, day yeah absolutely easter the summer yes um, those are going to help you because New everybody Year's. everybody wants to look nice in in the holidays right for holiday seasons whatever it is uh people really are looking to um look really nice for events for christmas for thanksgiving for valentine's day mother's day mother's day i mean there's so many different you know times that you can work right your, you know work your way right in there to advertise mm -hmm. And people don't even know you're advertising. You're just showing pictures of your work, but you're really just advertising, right? Yeah. And make a special, even if, yeah. if there's no special, you make it in your head. Yeah. You know, for Mother's Day, for example, you can say, um, you and your mom come get a set and you know, you'll know you have whatever X amount off of your, out of, out of, and that's two for one yeah. secured appointments that you were, yeah, that you didn't yeah. have. Yeah, you, know, you didn't, you didn't have, have those, but now because you made this, this little sell, you're gonna miss out yeah. On a few bucks, you'll have at least two clients for that exactly. day. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, exactly. That's one of the best ways Don't to turn it. them away. Yeah. Don't turn your appointments away. Um, like I've told you guys in, in videos before, um, take the clients as they come. If they want to get lash extensions at 7 p.m., take them in at 7 p.m. unless you absolutely have something going on. There yeah. was like 
Some Saturdays I used to work all day at an office and then I used to lash all evening and then I had a Saturday off. Yeah, I had a Saturday off and I wanted to just lay there and rest. But someone would text me Friday night and be like, can you do my lashes tomorrow? And I'd be like, oh, yes. (laughs) And then I would convince myself, what else do you have to do? All you do is you're just going to lay around. You're just going to watch TV. You're not going to have much going on. If you go out to eat in the morning with the family, you're not going to have anything to do in the afternoon. Do you want to make money or do you not want to make money? Or do you want to go spend money? (laughs) Yeah. So then I was like, okay, yes, I'll take you. I'm like, dang, right? It kind of, it's bittersweet, right? Yeah, it's yeah. bittersweet. It's like, yes, I got an appointment. But, but then again, oh, you're like, oh, I'm tired. <laughs> yeah. So, Imelda. Yes. What are you planning on doing? <laughs> ha, post. Yeah. Is, is post. that what you feel like? Yes, yeah. be consistent. Even if it's a good morning. Anything. Yeah, yeah that's true. Uh, that's true. I'm trying to. I need to, to work on that myself. I'm I, so busy sometimes yeah. that I can't find the time to do it. Yeah, I, I need to edit some pictures, even though sometimes I'm bad in taking pictures. I need to be like, I need yeah. to I need to get some tips on how to take better pictures. I know last time you I asked you, <clears throat> and I asked you, you're like, just take a lot of pictures. But yeah. sometimes a lot of the pictures, they just, they They're don't look But it's okay. Like, it's yeah. okay, though. That's why I tell you, like, take a bunch of pictures, different angles. Not yes. just like a bunch of pictures in the same angle. Move your camera it, around. Turn it. Yes. Yeah, just move your camera around in all kinds of directions to get different angles of the lashes. I can take 20 pictures and I will like one of them. Yeah. But that one, yeah, or, or not. Yeah. But that one is the one. You know what I mean? And it's like, oh my God, this looks awesome. And don't get discouraged, guys, because I know at the beginning, and we've had this discussion before, you take a picture. And you're like, that looks nothing like my set in person. Yeah. Yes. Like yeah. my set in person looks it so much better. Just yes. yes. <laughs> like in person, it looks so full and dark. And then in the picture, it looks, the lashes look really light. Yeah. It was like so frustrating. But that's when you and the light. How to edit. Yes. Yeah. So yes. those enhancements. And the, the light hits the lashes and they just look really like white. Or gray. Yes. Or gray. <laughs> I'm like, and I know that the eyelashes look darker in person. Why yeah. don't they look like that in the picture? Yes. And that's what it is. It's the lighting. We need to learn how to kind of just edit that a little bit. I've had some people show me some things over the years, and I'm just, like, so thankful for it. Or go on TikTok. Yeah. 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 But how to take pictures for lash text. Yeah. yeah. TikTok or YouTube. is a new Google. Mm-hmm. YouTube. Literally. You know what I mean? Yes. Um. So, you know, if you're taking pictures, make sure you take a bunch of different angles. If you're doing videos, do a bunch of different. I know it's going to be like, I don't want to ask them to just sit there while I take a bunch of they videos. Won't they won't mind. A lot of people want you to show them because they're cute. Yeah. <laughs> And something that I will say for videos, don't post as a regular video on, on Instagram. Yeah. Um, if you post as a reel, so it'll give you the option to make a post as just a video yes. and a post as just a reel. If you post it as a video, it's only going to go towards your people, towards yes. your followers. Yeah, and a reels absolutely. If you make a reel, that's it's something going anybody worldwide. Can yes, much. that's something yeah. that I have been working on as well. Um, also, you know, if you're taking a lot of videos and a lot of pictures, guys, especially when you get started, I always tell you not only take a bunch of pictures from all kinds of different angles, even if you have to take pictures of them with their eyes closed while you have pads on, um, progress pictures of you lashing. Like yeah, just a bunch of different pictures because when you're not busy, You can make yourself look busy by taking a lot of those pictures and having something to post every day. You know what I mean? So if let's say you had one client this week um, and you took 20 pictures of that client and then um, you're like, dang, what am I going to post in two days or in three days? Right. You can take some of those pictures from those different angles. And sometimes it looks like a totally different person or a totally different set. So people are like, oh, she's doing her thing. She's mm-hmm. lashing. She's, she's lashing. She's doing it. You know what I mean? And so people are like, you know what? I'm going to go to her. And so take multiple pictures just in case you fall into some of those weeks or days where it gets a little slow. You have something to post. And not only you have that one person, but multiple people. Mm-hmm. Uh, you have so many pictures on your phone or on your camera or wherever it is that you're taking pictures. And you can use some of those on your days that are slow. And use those slow days. To, to post market, pictures, to post, exactly. To mm-hmm. Share Absolutely. everything. You eat, as a lash tech, your you job have doesn't no stop. Off days, <clears throat> you don't clock out. That's one of the yeah. things that comes within the business. It never stops. Yeah. But it's fun. And you're gonna learn yes. to lo- like you'll love it. Yeah. Especially when you start seeing the consistency, you're just like, this is 
is it. You're like, this is for right. me. This is what I love to do. Absolutely. It's just a matter of time. Yes. When you um, when you get started and let's say you have only two clients this week, but you have some off days, let me tell you that you should be marketing yourself. You should be promoting yourself. You should be working on everything that you don't get to work on when you have clients because if you go work a nine to five job, you got to get up every day and work mm -hmm. nine to five. Why are you not doing it for yourself? Yeah. Why? Mm -hmm. If it benefits you, you're working for somebody else and you're making them a tons of money, right? Because I promise you that that little paycheck that you get, they make a lot more than that. Mm -hmm. That's how they're able to afford that paycheck for you, right? Yeah. So that work that you're putting into that company is making them a whole lot of money and this is what you're making forever that's yeah. it that's all you're gonna make unless they give you a raise or something right um then it's just gonna be a little bit more <laughs> right and you're busting your ass to work for somebody else nine to five but oh if it's your business oh, you're gonna take wait. you're gonna take days off yeah no why why are you taking days off are you that like I don't know. Are you that good? Like, <laughs> dang, girl, you rich. <laughs> right. <laughs> like, you're rich, girl. Um, you don't have to work. But anyway, um, when I didn't have clients during the week, if there was a day that I had no clients. Or use your mannequin. Yeah, use your mannequin to show yeah. other other. How sets. to do a removal. Yeah, how to do a setup. Something. How to prep. When I had mm -hmm. time off, um, I was brainstorming, right? I was like, how am I going to bring in customers for next week? Because I have nothing booked for next week, what am I going to do? That was my work day to find out, to figure out how I was going to bring customers in. And I was doing that by writing down my options. I was just like, I can have a promotion. What kind of promotion? I can have, I can ask for a model for this week just to bring people in so they know I know how to do a mega volume set. Um, I can, you know, maybe have uh, some type of raffle that will just have people share my name. Uh, I don't even want money from it this time. I just want just expose me to. I just world. want you to share me my name to for a free set, right? And then if that one person wins that free set, then the other people that want it to win are still interested. Yeah. Those are prospect customers. You know, yeah. you, like you need to reach out to them mm -hmm. and be like, "Hey, girl, I noticed that you entered my raffle. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. I found somebody. I already, you know, I already picked somebody, but." I can definitely, you know, do your lashes for a discount so you can try me, yeah, exactly. especially to get started. Right. Like, I don't want you to be like, oh, heck no, I'm going to charge 150 bucks to start. If they don't want my services, then don't come to me. Then don't come to me, girl. <laughs> well, guess what? You're going to run out of customers pretty quick. Yeah, OK, mm -hmm. it all starts with having promotions, having sales, bringing people in. Right. Even if you have to charge just a little bit less than what people are charging in your area so that people can try you, definitely say something like, hey, this is a promotion. I am I just opened up. I just started. I'm doing sets. Any set you want for 100 bucks. I'm doing any set you want for 75 bucks. Um, but this is a promotion. In a couple of months, I'm going to raise my prices uh, and people will feel comfortable with that instead of like charging you know, 25 bucks and then saying, sorry, I just increased to 125 bucks. They're like, what? Get out of here. Bye. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. That's just, you know, you got to you got to make it's it make crazy. sense. You got to make you it make sense. Pres the presentation that you use within those posts and those flyers also matter a lot. Yeah. You know, there is a lot of websites that you can go to to create a post, to create a flyer, to create a post. Yeah. And they already have setups. You just have to exactly. enter your little information, the prices, the dates or I, whatever I definitely use Canva. Yeah, Canva. I Canva. use Zazzle yeah. to do a lot of my flyers, yeah. um, a lot of my office, you know, um, advertising. Um, I use Zazzle for a lot of different things yeah. too. And it's very inexpensive. Don't think that you have to, you know, pay an arm and a leg for this stuff. There's stuff that you can create yourself that mm -hmm. costs a lot less. Um, you don't have to order a hundred and something of stuff or 20, 25. Like yeah. we'll go to the corner store and we'll spend 30 bucks without a problem. Yeah, exactly. So if you have to pay for, cause I knew, I do know that some of the apps you do have to pay like seven ninety nine for a year. Yeah. yeah like, like, come on. We spend $7 at Target. I mean, I used to work just <laughs> to, coffee. Yeah. Coffee. that's a Starbucks. I don't drink coffee. I, I, you know, yeah. I work to order DoorDash. <laughs> you know what I mean? No, I don't think you ever, ever order DoorDash. What are you talking about? I, or, I DoorDash like every dang day. You know what I mean? I'm like, oh my God, I'm paying like 25 bucks to eat every day. 
and I can't pay seven ninety nine for you know what I mean? Like yeah. make it make sense. It's an investment. It's an investment. At the end of the day. It is. And like I said, create something for yourself. Um you order a few of them. Like if, if you're ordering little flyers, you don't have to go and buy 150 of them. You know, buy 20, buy 25 and see what happens with those flyers. And then if you're like, you know what, this flyer stuff has been working for me, I'm going to order more. Or if business cards are just not working for you, you know what I mean? Try something else. You don't have to order a bunch of something. That is the worst mistake you can do is order a bunch of something mm -hmm. and then it just doesn't work yeah. for you. Yeah. You know what I mean? Try things. Try new things. Yeah. Um, if you're going to order some flyers with your QR code on them. Like, for example, I did that a while back. I ordered like 25 and people were taking them like yeah. hotcakes. Well, for example, you know my what I business mean? cards um, in the front, it'll, it says my lash, my lash name. And then my, it's always like my lash name. And then Alicia Cisneros, which is my name. And then you turn it in the back and it's simply the QR code yeah. to my Instagram. And it just has my phone number. Exactly. And like the location of where I'm at. Yes. And that's it. People don't want to keep business cards and keep business yes, cards. Yes, business cards are not that popular these days, yeah. right? Especially with the younger generations, nobody they're going to lose your business cards, dude. Yeah. You know what I mean? They're going to lose your business yeah. cards. <laughs> yeah, they don't they don't do anything anymore. Before we used to I remember way Have a whole back in the day. For yeah, cards. way back in the day. I used to work for a company and I was in sales and I had a whole binder with people's business cards in there. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. And now it's like you give somebody a business card and they're like, ah, tirala, yeah. throw it yeah. away. Or, or they take a picture. Yeah. And that's yeah. it. They take a picture. So, you know, getting with the program, QR codes, all that stuff is going to really make sense. Um, see what's out there. You know, there's these new business cards that people can just scan. I saw that. Right? They're called the dot. It's, so it's yeah. kind of like a, I've been wanting to order one so bad. It's like a credit card, It's a credit right? card. It's like a and credit just card. Like, they're like, oh, you know. What about lashes or whatever? Oh, another thing how you can market yourself, always have your lashes done. Yes, always all have the your time. lashes done. Yes, I told I told you absolutely. when school started. Yeah. Someone sees you, oh my God, girl, I love your lashes. You're yes. gonna be like, Oh, thank you. I do lashes. Here's yes, my card. Exactly. That's it. People try to tell I was you know, I tell the 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 girls all the time in my class, like, people try to make conversation with you sometimes at Chick-fil-A. At stores. <laughs> Chick-fil-A. Chick-fil-A. Yeah, I've gotten asked a million questions like, how was your day today? And I'm like, oh, it was good. I lashed three clients. Are you going to work right now? And I'm like, yeah, I am. Or are you just getting off work? Yeah. What do you do? They always ask yeah, what you do, always, right? Always. And there's always young girls working there. Yeah. Right? And they're like, what do you do? And I'm like, oh, I do lashes. They're like, oh, my God, you do? Do you have a car? Yeah, do you? I'm like, yeah, here you go. You but know what I mean? that's when the new car that I'm telling yes. you. Yes. So you just tap it in the back yes, of the phone. Yes, I saw and that. And it takes you straight to like. Yeah. To it's kind of like the link tree. Uh -huh. And it sets like your TikTok, your Instagram, your Facebook, your yes. Twitter. Like everything. It links it to everything. And you just have to like tap the phone. There's so much new <gasps> stuff out there, guys. You just got to look for it. You I'm know what I mean? I'm a I'm not even up to date. <laughs> I know. I'm just like so behind, but you know, I have a clientele base, so I'm not that in a hurry, right? But for someone like Imelda that's starting out, she definitely needs to know the options. You guys definitely need to know your options. If there's something else that you guys are doing um, that we didn't mention that you want to like, hey, don't forget to mention this or hey, guys, I also do this, you know, send it to us, comment it, you know, in our, in our, um, comments. You, yeah, in our comments so that you know, maybe we can talk about it next time or it'll help somebody else because you guys know if you've been there that it's a struggle, whether it's a lash business or, any you know, business. Any, business, any business, it's a struggle trying to get your name out there. The people that you feel like are going to support you the most are the ones that kind of ghost you. No, <laughs> and nice. so you feel a little isolated and you feel like, dang. How many family members did I see at the last barbecue? Let me see, like 27. How many of them come to do their lashes None. with me? <laughs> None. You know what I mean? <laughs> and then, like, you're like, what the heck, dude? I mean, okay, fine. Maybe you don't like getting your lashes done or, or whatever the case. But I'm like, why have you not tried me? Yeah. Like, I thought we were cool. <laughs> you know yeah. I mean? like, but it's okay because the person <laughs> that doesn't know you. Yes. My closest friends, I have a group of six friends right now. I didn't have girlfriends because I was always in and out of work, just living my own life. Yeah. The My closest group of girls... 
we became my friends through being my clients. Yeah, I have you a know, lot of friends little, too. Oh, hey girl, hey, how are you? Hey, come to my birthday celebration. Hey, come to my kids party. And now we're the best of friends. Yeah, Literally. I know. I, and and that's very true. I, I I know you said you had good conversation with one of your clients the other day. Yeah, I always have conversations with my clients. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I do too. And sometimes I feel so bad having conversations with my clients because I'm like, what if they just wanted to come in and relax? And I'm like talking my ass off, you know what I mean? Yeah. 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 But then they share stuff with me too, you know? And so I feel like I need a sign at the salon what, what's... Stay You're gonna choose. I know, because sometimes those clients yeah. need to vent. Yeah, and they they vent yeah. to, to therapists. Yeah, yeah, but I I need a sign that says like what is said here stays here, kind of like Las Vegas. What happens you know? in the <laughs> lash room stays in the lash room. Yeah, the, this is the lash life. <laughs> but you know, um, because sometimes you become their therapist, and you know, some people just need ways to vent, and. Um, you're the closest person they have yeah. to a therapist. You know what I mean? You know, they know you're not going to go and tell their business to anybody. I would never personally, if you're it's a lash HIPAA. tech. Yeah, it's HIPAA. It's HIPAA. <laughs> we have a HIPAA, a HIPAA law too, okay? <laughs> it's undercover, but it's HIPAA. <laughs> anyway, um, it's a smart world. You know, you don't want to go and tell people's business. And plus you want to make them feel comfortable yeah. and they want to come back. But, you know, post Try to post often. I don't want to say post daily because I know it's hard. At least post two to three times a week. Yeah, but if you're posting, you know, two times a week, keep it going every every week. Yeah. Post two times a week, you know? Don't stop posting for two weeks and yeah. then come back. And then because people will forget about you in those two mm-hmm. weeks. And it, they'll a forget you. A new hashtag will pop up. Yep. So mm-hmm. if you're posting, post consistently to your schedule. If you want to post once a week, then go for it, but do it once a week, every, every week. day that week. You know what I mean? Um, post things like you getting some coffee on the way to, you know, lashing somebody. Yeah. Like you like you go and drop off your kids every day. Like I'm dropping my kids off. I'm going back home and I'm about to go lash somebody and I'm going to be and busy. I'm going to cook lunch and then yeah. I'll pick them up again and then I have another client. Yeah, and- you know, people want to see real stuff. You know yeah. what I mean? They, they want to see stuff that they can relate to. Um, you and I are moms. Mm-hmm. You know that there's so much to do with kids. It's like, oh, my God. Like, what did I get myself yes. into? I love, I yes. always. I'm just here. Oh, like, my God. Like, I don't have kids. <laughs> <laughs> but, you know, um, you get really busy. And I know sometimes I'm trying to post stuff when my daughter can't. I'm, like, trying to post stuff. And they're like, mom, 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 hey, mom, hey, mom, hey, mom. And I'm oh, like, yeah. oh, my God, please just give me a minute. You yeah. know what I mean? It gets a little overwhelming. But I get it done. And I'm like, shh, shh, oh, hold on. <laughs> you know what I mean? Or they're just talking and I have that mom block, you know? Yeah. We have that mom block when you're a mom and kids can have a whole conversation in front of you and you don't know what happened. And sometimes that happens to me in real life when I'm in a room full of people. I think maybe sometimes they're gossiping and they're like, "Ah, did you hear that, Anna? And I'm like, I have no idea what you guys said because I have that mom block. I don't know what you guys said. I'm in my own world. I'm trying to get something done or or I'm reading something and I just block it when I need to. And I'm so glad I can do that now because I was so distracted before. You know, <laughs> I used to be very distracted and um, you'll eventually get the mom block. <laughs> I, I <laughs> hope it comes in soon because I get distracted a little too yeah, fast. Yeah, and, um, you know, it helps so much having the mom block, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. And then my does. kids tell me, uh, can you just leave your phone for a little bit? Gael tells me. Mom, can you put the phone down for a little bit? I have to tell you something very important. And I'm like, <laughs> okay, Gael, I'm sorry. What do you need to tell me? I'm going to be in the spelling bee. Okay, great. <laughs> great. I will, I will be there, okay? Yes. And then Ivan's like, and I'm going to do this. And I'm like, okay. And baby Joe doesn't bother me. He knows. I'm like, Ugh. baby Joe lives his own life. Yeah. Like, yes. It, that's Sweet. that's the mom life, right? Yeah. Um, and then on top of that, now you've joined the lash life. And so <laughs> yes. there are two different worlds that you have to kind of learn how to combine. But yeah, guys, it's going to help you so much to stay consistently posting. Like I said, Another post thing, anything. Um, stories. Yeah. Stories on your Instagram. Stories are cool. On, and Facebook. And mm-hmm. Facebook, you know, make the little polls like, oh, even if it's not lash related, it doesn't always have to be lash yeah, related. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And be like, Oh, what's your favorite Starbucks order or something yeah, like that? That's something true. random just to interact For with sure. your clients. Yes. And they're like, oh, my lash check likes this. or, And it's not only a way of interacting with them, but when they go into your lash room, 
it's gonna keep a conversation going. Like, hey, I and know you. You like interested. this type of coffee? Yeah. I like yeah. it too. Like, it's such and, a yeah. small thing, but you get so invested with the person because you're receiving that same energy in return. So right. that's just a way of connecting. Yeah. Maybe it's not the best marketing, but it's a great way to connect with your audience. And they're like, oh, well, she likes the same things that I yes, like. Yes, absolutely. Let me check her out. Like, we could be friends. Yeah. You know, exactly. So like, you know, sometimes I'll post um, stories of where I'm at. Like, if I'm eating somewhere that mm -hmm. I'm trying something new, um, I'll have customers reach out to me and be like, hey, girl, how was it? Mm -hmm. And I'm like, it was so good. It was delicious. And they're like, oh, my God, I got to check it out. Yeah. You know what I mean? And so then they're relating to you on another level. So then at that time, you're building a little bit of a bond. You mm -hmm. know what I mean? Like I had a, one of my students in one of my past classes and, you know, she sat in front of somebody for a little while and they talked all the time. And then when they finally were models for each other, she was like, I felt like we bonded. <laughs> <laughs> I just thought that was so funny, but it's so true. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. so true because you're bonding on another level with someone because now you're offering them a personal service, you know? Um, you're you're providing a service that's very personal for them because there's not a lot of people that are able to touch you or get in mm -hmm, your face mm -hmm. or, you know what I mean? And Keep so in mind, you're like inches away from You're inches you're like away right from here. them, you know? And that can be intimidating when you first start to be so close to somebody and you get a little nervous, but that's why you need to practice on live models. So, you know, get your friends and family, make them, you know, like I had one of my students also bring her husband one time and, you know, he allowed her to do a whole set. One of our models at, at school was a guy, he volunteered, we took him off, you know what I mean? But we didn't have any models and he was just like, you know, I'll do it. And I was just so thankful because the girls need that interaction. Um, but yeah, you know, stay consistent, put yourself out there, use social media because it's free guys. It's yeah. free. You know what I mean? Use social media to your advantage and also, you know, use hashtags. Alicia, yes. what hashtags have you used? When I started, I used a lot of hashtags, a lot of hashtags. I would put Houston lashes. I would put like beauty, the lash, like anything on, that honest, has to do you with, know what being honest with you mm -hmm. go on Google and look top trending hashtags and you can just copy those hashtags and put it you know <coughs> make a lot of spaces on your pictures mm -hmm. so that it doesn't like mess up your caption so it can still be cute yeah. um and then paste it in the bottom or paste yeah. it as a comment in your own picture so and they're easy to work on or yeah <laughs> also on instagram um they have like the top trending songs make yeah, a reel to the top trending songs yeah or tiktok you know exactly tiktok stay with the hashtags find a video that has a million views or a million yeah. likes yeah. look at the hashtags and that's it i know also earlier you mentioned um captions that you didn't know the captions yeah. captions go on pinterest and just yeah. look lash quotes and put a lash quote yeah even if you just want to tell them what what it is because yeah. some people you know we know what some of our work is but customers don't right yeah. so, so like, if you like gave volume, somebody a cat eye like, volume they know what to ask for next time they come, they come to you. So that's your signature right there, right? Yeah. If you want to call a cat eye something else, um, then call it that so that people know what to ask for. So yeah. in your captions, you can always use what type of work you're doing, you know? Mm -hmm. So if I want to do a cat eye, to me, this is a volume set. So I'm going to put volume set out there. To me, this is my mega volume set. Mm -hmm. That's what I'm going to put out there because her hybrid might look different than my hybrid. Your volume might look different than mine. Mm -hmm. I've had customers come and say, well, where I went, it was much fuller and I'm like that's not that's not a light volume yeah. that's a volume mm -hmm. and they're like oh well she always did them fuller which is a big problem in the industry because mm -hmm. you can't control your volume right yeah um so then we're giving away <laughs> stuff <laughs> we're, we're giving away stuff for free guys we're giving away a volume set when they're asking for light volume and then now the rest of us pay for it because then they're like, well, she used to do it so much fuller. And I'm like, dang you, Alicia, you were giving them a volume set. <laughs> that was you know what class. I mean? Like, but I've had some customers that tell yeah. me, you know, like, well, it always used to be more full where I went before. And I was just like, that's actually a volume set. That's yeah. not a light yeah, volume. Yeah. Light volume is very natural, very light. Uh, it's not very dark and dense. And so you kind of have to explain that to them. Mm -hmm. So, you know, make sure that your captions describe your work so that people know what to ask for, especially in the beginning. You know, my hashtags um, I get from my 13-year-old. 
<laughs> yeah, yeah. She's like, mom, put hashtag FYP. Mom, yeah. put hashtag blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, okay, I'm doing it right now. That's what I'm going to do. You know what I mean? And so then if I post in multiple um, pages, like Facebook, Instagram, or whatever, I'll just take that whole post, caption, caption and post or whatever, copy it, and then put it on mm-hmm. my other one to make it all the same. So you don't have to worry about doing it to another page and another page and another page. Just copy and paste it. One of my friends has like all her hashtags on her notes. Oh, that's a good page. idea. And that's a good just, idea. You just copy and paste. Yeah, same for sure. To every post. So that's maybe a good idea. I just need to get to you my know, notes. One of my, one of my loyal clients now, um, she came. She started coming to me when I first started, and I would. I always ask, "How did you find me? You know, how did you come I across do too. my page? What made you come come to me or whatever?" And she told me it was through a hashtag. Yeah. And I'm like, are you serious? And she's like, yes, girl. Um, mm-hmm. She's like, I searched Absolutely like works. Houston lashes or like the exactly. area that I'm in lashes. And I was like, oh, my God. And that's why wow. hashtags work because so your hashtags should also describe your work. I have hashtags yeah. that say East Houston lashes or Houston mm. lashes or, you know, I do something like mega volume lashes Houston mm. or whatever it is because people are looking for that stuff. If I'm offering a class, at least I know you want to offer classes later. Um, do, you know, a lash training in Houston your, okay. as your hashtags, you know. Uh, beginner lash training whatever it is that you want to promote because people are looking for that stuff exactly and that's why we use those hashtags because people actually search and look for those like things the keywords yeah they yeah so they're the like keywords, keywords yeah. pretty much you know what i mean so don't forget to um don't forget to post often don't forget to use your hashtags describe your work in your captions if you want to even just tell somebody how you made that set in your caption that's fine too I mean, there's just so many ways that you can uh, entice clients to come and see you, to want to see more, right? Mm-hmm. Um, there's some clients that have never had lash extensions before. And depending on your work, you might be the only lash check that they're seeing right now. Mm-hmm. Like, that's the only thing that they see is your work. So you got to make sure that you're reminding them often that you're available that you're there yeah. and you're giving them that experience because whenever yeah. someone says oh my god i love your lashes you're gonna be like oh my god i just came across this lash tag you should totally yeah, check her totally, out totally. because you gave her that lash experience yeah. like you do need to give a lash experience you do mm-hmm. want yes you do you always want to have something that your client is going to remember you for yeah absolutely whether it's your favorite candy whether it's your favorite fruit or your favorite shirt yeah. Anything. Anything. Like they a, good a good experience a good experience is going to keep having them come back yeah. you know and that's how i made most of my clients referring you. is by them referring me because they had a good experience if they would have had a bad experience they wouldn't have referred me they wouldn't have told somebody else you know like i said in a previous video your customers are your walking billboards mm-hmm. they will tell everyone about you if yeah. they've had a good experience right you never want to let anybody walk out of your studio with a bad experience. If there's something that they're not happy about, you can't wash your hands and be like, sorry, I don't know what to Mm-mm. tell you, right? Nope. You have to make sure to fix it. Even if it hurts your pocket, even if it hurts your heart, even if it hurts, you know, just to do it because mm-hmm. they're just being difficult, um, fix it. Yeah, sometimes and, we have and to get fold them out. a little bit. Yeah, and sometimes you do. Be the bigger person because and you will come across those people. Get it done. Get it done so that... There's nothing negative left to say about you. At the end of the day, you did everything possible to make that client happy, and there's nothing they can say about you. What can they say? Well, I didn't like it, but she fixed it for me when I told her. You know what I mean? So your clients are your biggest, biggest, you know, advertisements. They will tell everybody about you. They will tell everybody about you 10 times more if you do something wrong, okay? So you have to... You have to make everyone happy. Yeah. You have to make sure that they leave your place like, okay, fine, she did it. You 10 know, 10 out of 10 experience. Yeah, and if you're like, man, this customer was so damn like difficult. I don't ever want to work with her again. Don't book her anymore. But at least you made that client happy and there's nothing negative to say about you, yeah. right? And that's how you're going to keep that referral business going. coming back and over and over and over by the good experiences that they have. So that's a big, big part of the business is keeping your clients happy because that's how they're going to return. I've had clients that said, I don't know why, um, but I've 
you know, my lashes have been falling out and I'm breaking my head. Like, I don't know what to do. And I give them a free set and I'm like, I don't know what to do. And I give them a free set again. And then I realize that it's not even my fault. It was their fault. Right. <laughs> like, I'm not even going to go into that. Don't make me go into that story, please. <laughs> we'll save that story for another time. Oh God. Okay. But anyway, I did the right thing and I refilled and refilled and refilled her lashes for free thinking it was me. I asked her a million questions. (laughs) I asked her a million questions like, are you doing this? Are you doing that? And of course, some of your clients will be like, nope, nope, not doing that. Nope, didn't do that. Didn't do this. And I'm like, well, then what is it? Is it me? The rest of my clients aren't complaining. What is, you know, what is it? But at the end of the day, like I said, I kept that client happy. I figured it out. And then I was like, okay, girl, I ain't giving you no more free sets okay <laughs> we need to figure it's this out it's not now. my fault now that i realize this okay and then it stopped there but sometimes like alicia said you have to you know fold a little bit and give them the benefit of the doubt fix it move on and if you never want to see them again it's up to you you don't you're not forced to see everybody not everybody's going to be your cup of tea and um as long as you know that you're doing the right thing you know that should be enough So, you know, post daily, make sure you use your hashtags, use your captions, use your your clients, connect with your clients, use your, you know, um, people skills, make them happy. Um, And just, you know, do your thing. Don't worry about what everybody else is doing. Um, Do what's going to help you connect with your customers because everybody has a different customer base. Not all of our customers are the same. They really are. You know, another thing that I, I, it's in my list. I haven't. I should have started it a long time ago, but it's in my list of, of what to do in my little projects and stuff. Make a quote, something that relates to you. And then mm-hmm. the bottom, put your logo. Yeah, mm-hmm. for sure. A lot of people are going to relate to yeah. it. Yeah. We love to share little quotes on our story. Mm-hmm. Someone's going to click on that on that yes. post, go to your page, mm-hmm. and there's another follower. Yeah. Yeah, the Lash because Supply does that a lot, guys. Yeah, we yeah, love the Lash, the Lash Supply. supply. Does that. We get quotes all the time in your in your beginner's boxes, and it's so inspiring. Um, we even got these little um, air fresheners that have little quotes on them. They're so cute because sometimes you need that motivation, right? And yeah. you open up a box, and you're beginning a new business, and, like, oh. and you're like, oh, success is blah, blah, blah. And you're like, oh, my God. You yeah. know what I mean? So, some people don't get that. There's no one at home to give you motivation, and those things really help. So Imagine you giving someone a little piece of that motivation that they need for that day. You don't know what they're going yeah. through sometimes. It goes a long way. Yeah, it goes way. a really long way. So it's a, that's a really good idea. You should definitely yeah. do that. Yeah. Um, but, you know, handling your marketing schedule, just make sure that on those off days, especially as a beginner, you make time for that. Wake up just as if you had appointments that morning. Don't stay in bed. Mm-hmm. Wake up just like if you had appointments that morning. Start with your marketing plan get a strategy, do what you need to do on those off days and, you know, figure out how you're going to bring clients in that maybe next even week. Even if you don't have clients, maybe uh, do um, a time lapse on you cleaning the room, yeah. your last sanitizing room, your yeah. sanitizing. Yeah, you know, I used to do like... Anything that has to do with that. Yes, I used to do little videos of my of my last room and be like, I'm ready for you guys, you know. Come and see me. Come and see me. Appointments available. Mm-hmm. And people were like, oh, that's a nice clean space. I want to go. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? So then and they'll be like, oh. And yourself presentable. Yeah, always presentable. Always try to look good. Try to keep an appearance. Because yeah. if they see you looking a certain way, they're going to be like, oh. How you look work. is the type of customers yeah, that you're, you're going to attract, yeah. okay? So if you are looking all chongolicious, <laughs> and you know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> and you're wearing, you know, your chanclas and your, I don't know, you know what I mean? Like your pajamas. Just, yeah, your pajamas, your PJs, yeah. you just got out of bed, you got a bun, your teeth ain't brushed and you look a little, you know what I mean? It's those are the type of customers that you're going to attract. Yeah. And that I customer is going to run off your bed for yeah, having no, that stinky really ass breath. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> for sure. And you like, know, you, you want a gum? I have some gum in my purse. Yeah, for sure. A mint. <laughs> and you guys are this close to someone. Yeah. You know what I mean? Whenever you're lashing, Please don't think that they cannot smell your breath. They definitely mm-hmm. can, even if you're wearing a and you mask. You should be wearing a mask. <laughs> yeah. Wearing a mask. And I've seen some lash checks not wear a mask, guys. You need to wear a mask. Definitely. Yeah, that is do. not okay. Uh, I've had my lashes done. I, I asked one of my friends a long time ago that I was teaching. I was actually in the middle of teaching her. And she would practice a lot on the mannequin. And she's like, can I practice on you? And I was like, yeah, definitely. Go ahead. Practice on me. I'll let you. Right. And I told her, make sure you wear a mask. You know, I gave her all the instructions and she didn't wear a mask. And I was like, 
are you wearing a mask? And she's like, uh, no. And I'm like, I can smell your breath through your nose. Oh. <laughs> like, I can smell the breath coming out of her Good nose. <laughs> and she's like, oh, my God, I'm so sorry. And I was just like, girl, put a mask on. You got to do it for customers. Like, people are just, like, cringing. Like, oh, I better, like, maybe 20 more minutes, maybe yeah. 30 more minutes. And people get anxious. They yeah. do get anxious. They want to get out of there just yeah. because they don't want to smell your breath anymore. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, oh, yeah. Be presentable, right? Your onion breath. Yeah, yeah. be presentable. Uh, be presentable in the in the post that, that you post. You know, sometimes you're human you're in your pjs cleaning up in the morning that's fine but you know let them see that other side of you as treat well treat it as your nine to five like you're not gonna <coughs> yeah. go to your regular job treat it as your nine crazy. to five you're just not yeah you won't. you'll so, visit home exactly so treat it exactly as your job because it is this is what's gonna make you money this is what's gonna put food on the table for you and your family and this is what's gonna get you to those vacations um to all of that stuff so if you're working for somebody else right now, nine to five, dedicate the same amount of time to your business and you're going to see it grow. Make sure you're posting. Make sure you're advertising. Another place that you can advertise is Google. Google's a good place to advertise when you get your business started, when you're licensed and you want somebody to come over to your salon. There's a lot of people looking on Google for lash techs near me, mm -hmm. lash extensions near yeah. me. And Google charges you uh, depending on your budget. So, for example, if your budget is just $50 a month, you can you can make that $50 a month. And it'll give that many clicks to people to find you, right? After that amount of time, you're you're not searchable anymore. But, you know, work with the budget that you have for now. At least you're going to be able to be, you know, searched for, for at least that many times. You know, uh, they're going to be able to click on your phone number to call you. Um, that's a good search engine. Um, there's also, you know, for example, I use Booksy. And that gives me also a place where people can write reviews and people actually read them, guys. Like I had somebody come to the salon the other day and I'm like, how did you find us? And she's like, oh, actually, I saw your reviews. And I was like, you did? And she's like, yeah. And it said on there that you were the best at blah, blah, blah. And I was just like, oh, my God, thank you so much. So cool. And I was just like, that is so awesome that people can see those reviews. Yeah. And I think about it, if I never had that, I wouldn't have had that customer, right? And that customer is probably going to be a returning customer. And that's mm -hmm. another customer added to yeah. my books. Yeah. So any way that you can advertise, but stay within your budget. Uh, when I first started, um, I used to advertise a lot just through social media. I used to handle my own schedule. I used to, you know, write everything down in a calendar because I'm old school. And I used to write everything. I still do. <laughs> I asked my producer the other day, like, what kind of gadget is that? I want I want one of those <laughs> notebooks. <laughs> I'm like, I don't want to write notes in a regular tablet anymore. I want, I I want, want an iPad with a pencil. I want something else. I like that that you have. But um, I used to write notes in a little calendar. And I used to write how much to charge, how much deposit they gave me. Um, and I used to break it down. And then when the customer came in, it's like, how much do I owe you? I'm like, well, according to my notes. <laughs> according to my calculations. According, according to, my to my handwritten note. You owe me 75 <laughs> bucks after your deposit. Uh -huh. And they're like, okay. You know, and it's like, when's my next appointment? And I'm like, well, <laughs> your next appointment is in two weeks. I can do Thursday, Friday, or Saturday. You know what I mean? And so now with the new booking system, they can write reviews and people can read them and they can schedule and they can see pictures of your work that's another way to advertise because a lot of the um a lot of the booking systems have places where you can post your work and other people can see so you're advertising for free really there because you're really using it for just your booking system but it has those extra yeah. features yeah. Mm -hmm. so anything that you can find to put yourself out there is awesome i know i heard somebody say something about putting cards on windows i don't know if that really works because I, I throw all of mine know. away. I don't to get in <coughs> close to people's I cars. Was, I don't know who it was, but yeah, I, I don't know. Yeah, I don't know because every time I get some on Windows, I, I just out. like, Look, I just. There's a lot of choo -choo. people going missing nowadays. <laughs> yeah, I'm not getting close to anyone's car. I yes. know nope, I'm for sorry. sure. I'm scared. And um, like I said, when I get stuff on my windshields, like flyers and stuff, I'm just choo -choo. I just turned my windshield Maybe wipers on. Maybe you can leave biz, uh, business cards, like in businesses. Yeah, in, in beauty stores. Yeah, you know, like I mean, that's for good. commission. Like, hey, can I leave some business cards here? And maybe that's how... Yeah. I mean, nowadays, you just I don't need to know. make a cute flyer with the QR code and ask yeah, you to leave it there. Yeah, that's what it's I do. I just do a, a cute flyer with a QR code. And I swear, like, when I made those with QR codes, it was like, Ch -ch -ch -ch. I want to yeah. take two for my friends at work. Ch -ch -ch. I want to... Because mm -hmm. now I don't have to share anything with them. They can just scan it and yeah. they can... Yeah. You know what I mean? And, you know... 
I hate that COVID happened, but I think that introduced us to so much technology. Yeah, oh my God. I mean, that's what started TikTok. <laughs> yeah, that's what, you know, introduced us to so much technology. So use it to your advantage. You know, QR codes are, big, are a big thing right now. Um, so, you know, just make sure that you stay consistent. Alicia, what else? Stay consistent. Um, posting. I, I obviously, hashtags. Hashtags. Stay on top of the trends with music. And I know it's a lot, yeah. especially because you guys have kids. I don't have kids, and I still <laughs> find it like it's a lot. It's overwhelming um, sometimes. It is very overwhelming, <clears throat> but I mean, we sit in the restroom and we're on Facebook or we're on TikTok or we're <laughs> on Twitter. <laughs> Girl, use that time to fix your pictures yeah. and advertise. Like that's you're in bed at what night. I do. You're in bed at night scrolling, you know, through no, people's use business. That, use that time. Use that no. time. Get um, out of people's business. If you have time to be in people's business, you have time for your own yes, business. So, exactly. You're not putting enough time into your own business, business yeah so uh, that's how people elevate is getting out of people's business and focusing oh, on yourself another thing that i do i give out um this not discount cards loyalty cards yes loyalty cards loyalty are cool. cards, yeah. you know obviously Definitely. it's not marketing but it's a way to keep your clients to come back you know just for sure back to you, you know if you oh, think want that I discount come back, Three more times, oh, I get five dollars off. Or right. If I come back and have X amount of appointments, oh, I'll get ten dollars yes, off. Or for you sure. know, whatever. And you lose mm. a little bit of money, but you have, like I said, that's secure. It's an investment. Everything's yeah, an investment, literally. guys. Like you spend twenty, twenty-five bucks on some flyers with a QR code, but how many clients are you gonna bring in no, with those? You I know? found an app now. There's an app mm. on oh, I don't know the name of the app. I'll I'll have to, I'll link it. I'll give it to you so you can link it on your comments and uh -huh. in the description. But now you make the loyalty cards digital. Yes, I've seen digital cards. Digital cards. Yeah, so I've seen digital like cards. Just stamp and them. And some of stuff. the booking sites also have digital yes. loyalty yeah, cards. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, so you got to just look out for those as well. Um, don't go buying anything out of your budget if you just have a few clients a week. And keep um, a budget too. Yeah, keep a budget. You don't want to like blow your budget and then not have money for your supplies. <laughs> so, yeah. <laughs> uh, if you're just starting out, use all the free resources that you have. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Start there and then, you know, elevate. Elevate from there and then use other sites that don't charge too much. And, and then, you know, just use things that you absolutely need. I know you want to be like this top notch, you know, lash tech or whatever. And you want to have all the trends and all this stuff but you got to start somewhere and you're not going to be able to elevate if you keep drowning yourself and trying to purchase all these things that you're not ready for yeah. so you know start somewhere use all your free resources and i promise you that it's going to be a big big game changer and little by little i mean you're just going to start adapting to the program it all comes with time and marketing is mainly on how much time you're willing to put yeah. absolutely into your business exactly I mean, it doesn't happen overnight some people do get followers. Sometimes all it takes is one post. Yeah, yeah. And absolutely. And you're famous. And then the next post, you'll have no likes. But all it takes is one post. That one That's post. It. And you never know what that one is going to be. Looking. You never yeah, know you might like watching. that post and nobody might like that post. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and then the post you hate is the one everybody likes. No, that's how it goes. <laughs> and I guess just don't get discouraged. Like no, me, don't. for example, that I only have like a few followers. Don't. No. Like some of you are like, ah, I want to have 100,000 followers. My page zero followers. <laughs> I was my yeah. own first follower. Yeah. And do y'all sure. recommend? having like all social media platforms or just start off with one because I know it can be like so overwhelming having so many platforms you know what worked for me to start um was snapchat mm -hmm. because snapchat is absolutely free advertisement so that's where I would advertise my other pages mm -hmm. so I would post a bunch of videos and pictures of my work and then people added me you know what I mean people okay. added me added me added me because it's easier to add on snapchat okay. right um because people would tag me on Snapchat and be like, so-and-so did my lashes, mm. right? So if someone tagged me on Snapchat, everybody wanted to be my friend because they wanted to see my other work. And so through there, I gained more followers than on my regular page. I have a lot more followers on Snapchat than I do on Instagram and all that stuff. And um, from there, I would advertise my other pages. Hey, to see more of my work, follow me on blah, blah, and blah, Instagram. And you can add a link to it. So yeah, like now you can add links to it. Link. Now you can add links to it. And so, you know, friends or family or customers would tag me. And so that was my free advertisement to get more clients to my other pages. So I would definitely post on Snapchat because it's so easy to make videos and edit them on Snapchat. You can just yeah. do all the filters, <laughs> you know what I mean? And, Whatever you um, want. I don't, I don't do this. Not me giving advice and not even doing it. Like always, you want to give everybody <laughs> advice and go follow your own. But it's on my list to do as well. Miss Anna made us do a list in school of ideas that we would use to grow and market ourselves. So that's in my list. Yeah. Um, treat 
So, for example, my source of pla- my platform for social media is Instagram. That's mm-hmm. that's the one that's my main focus. But I now made a Twitter page. I now made a TikTok page, and I now made a Facebook page. And yeah. anything that I post on my Instagram is gonna go copy paste on everything to else. The rest. It's gonna take yeah. you one more Definitely. minute to your out of your day to yeah. just. Oh, Twitter post, in this, uh, Facebook post, TikTok post. Good night. Yeah, and there's a way, guys. Um, if you have a business page and you have another Facebook page to link them, mm-hmm. and everything you post on Instagram will automatically post to Facebook. Yeah. So um, there's ways that you can do that so much easier, uh, so that you don't have to go to each page. But if you're still going to each page, again, copy and paste, and, it's and just, just a minute. It you know, takes post no it. Time. We waste Sometimes time I would make videos on Snapchat to start. And then I would just download those and post them on my mm-hmm. stories for other stuff yeah. because it's just so much easier. But yeah, I mean, to wrap it up, you know, just make sure you stay consistent. Uh, you post so people can think about you because if you're not posting, who's thinking about you, right? Mm-hmm. This is a great big world. There's so many lash sticks out there. Make sure you put yourself out there. Make sure that you're using your hashtags. Make sure that you're using your captions. And, you know, post anything, any time of the day. It doesn't matter what time it is, just as long as you're staying consistent. And then, you know, give yourself um, a deadline. Like, this is how long I have to create this marketing strategy. This is this is what I'm going to do every week to, to do marketing. You know, treat it as a job. Don't go and make everybody else money and not yourself. Oh, yeah. So, again, to wrap it up, make sure you're doing all of those things. If you have any other suggestions, we would love to hear them. And again, Alice, Imelda, thank you so much for joining us again. Thank you for yes. having us. Of course. And, you know, I'm hoping to see you guys again soon. But thank you guys so much for joining us again here at The Lash Live. Don't forget to like our page, subscribe, and hit that bell so you don't miss another one of our episodes. We will see you guys next time. Bye. Bye. Bye.